rocking out on a live stream. I should probably turn my wrist brace. Or, wow, turn my wrist brace off. Okay, so I just need to post that I'll be streaming in, in on Twitter and Instagram and in the Discord. And then I will be getting started. Um, it doesn't feel like it's a stream day at all. Okay. At stream ping. At all pings. Uh, clear that status. Because I'm live. I'm live as heck. <laughs> encoding is overloaded. Oh, well, encoding's not overloaded anymore, so I guess we're fine. <laughs> I fiddled around with some of my settings, so hopefully the mic sounds pretty good, and hopefully the video is, you know, as good as it can be, <laughs> the internet considered. Um. We're live and doing some painting for pieces. Hell yeah! Okay. And now we just post things in places like uh, Twitter. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, painting some backgrounds and art for my thesis. Come hang. And oh god, this Pokemon music is right. Oh, right in the nostalgia. Oh, Golden Rod City. Oh, I love the Golden Crown City music so much. Hmm. Oh, this song is so delightful. Alright, I've been doing chores for the last 30 minutes, and now we go on to Instagram and do it. <laughs> awesome. And... Yeah. <laughs> now we just post that we're live. We're getting there. We're getting there. I really fiddled with my settings, so it took me a bit to test my audio and make sure it all sounded all right. And then halfway through getting things set off, I decided, no, I want to calibrate my noise suppression so that I can have my air conditioner running. <laughs> But alas, that's just me changing my mind in the middle of doing things. Need some backgrounds for pieces. Come chill. All right. Oh, this is such a good playlist. I'll get into talking about my day in a little, a little bit, once we actually get started. So, if you need to go and grab snacks or anything, definitely go ahead and do that before we totally start partying. And I say partying, but you know it's always chill vibes on the stream. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Yeah. Now I should just type the thing and then I can post it and we're good. Twitch.tv slash daisy time draws. Heck yeah. Send to my story. Done. Sweet. Posted, screen off, we're back to charging. Alright, my checklist up, 
Promoted stream, we've gone live. All right. So I think it's time for us to rock out. Make that, make the chat a little bit bigger. And then, yeah. I think let's go over to my streaming tab. Heck yeah. So today we're going to be doing a background for my thesis, but it's not really like a background background, we're kind of making an asset for it. So I want to open up my animatic and I'll show you what exactly we're going to be making today. Um, there we go. I'm going to mute the audio so that I don't get a DMC. D DMCA. Uh, yeah. Copyright strike. Um, so basically since I have been almost kind of freaking burnt out from working on things way too much, and I underestimated how hard it would be to learn how to, like, 3D model and texture and everything, we're gonna take a step back and just work on making this portrait right here, which shows up in the first and second shots. So I'm basically just gonna make this portrait, and then I already have it modeled. So I'll fit the texture over it, um, basically later. But I want this to be a super nice painting, and since I'm gonna be trying to mimic Castlevania's background style, um, yeah, I figure we'll try to copy the painting style from the show which is one of my actual favorite artists, uh, Katie Sylvia. Um, oh, that's how Clip Studio ended up all the way up there. Um, this is actually one of her pieces. It's one of my desktop wallpapers. <laughs> um, this isn't exactly the style that's done in the show, but it's what we're going to be trying to do. So I'm going to quickly take a screenshot of this. What we're trying to make. Edit, copy. Oh god, that's a very tiny screenshot. And then close this out. And I think our next stop is I'm going to import the pose that I made for reference before the stream. Um, because rather than spending time trying to figure out how to get the pose right, I'm like, mm, let's just, you know, let's just draw over 3D models instead to keep it moving quickly. And then we're also going to need to grab reference. Uh, Castlevania. Okay, let's just jump over the to the St. Germain page, since I know there's art by Katie Sylvia on there. And then I will pull that screen right over so y'all can see it. Uh, Photoshop's still doing a bunch of work right there. So let's pull this over. Um, this is by Katie Sylvia. She actually has her own page on here. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> wow. Um, let's see, let me gather my references. Let's see, full size image. Mm, this one needs to be full size. And, let's see, full size. This is really funny because I think, I think this image right here was also my wallpaper for a long time and I didn't realize it was Katie Sylvia. Um, this one is also in my wallpapers folder, <laughs> so yeah, that's whack. Um, she also did a lot of Lenore's concepts, oh god. Also designed my absolute favorite character, Saint Germain. I love Saint Germain so much. I won't spoil that. Also, also she did a bunch of the concept sketches for friggin... For, for 
streak is out, but words. Words are hard. I don't think I need this Dracula. No, I don't need this Dracula. It's too messy. Oh, that's a spoiler. <laughs> We're gonna close that out. I'm also going to hit do not disturb on my email for two hours. <laughs> and close this. Copy image. I still need to order the art book for this. I really cannot wait until I can get my hands on it. Paste this in. And then we'll grab this. Copy image. And then paste this in. Okay. Um, turn these off. And we will close this tab. We'll just get this in the right spot, and I don't feel like stressing about getting the model lined up in a good spot, so I'm basically just gonna make this portrait go a little bit lower than it actually needs to. Um, let's get the lasso tool. Oh! Oh, I see our lasso tool is going to be discombobulated. Settings. Window settings, no. Tablet options, pen offset fix. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. This isn't what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, I thought we turned the pen offset fix on. Um, tablet mouse mode? No. No, 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 that's not, that's not one bit correct. No! No! Right. No, I don't want <laughs> Photoshop let me loose. Free me. Control, deselect. Hi, Luna! Yay! Thanks so much for coming to hang out. How are you doing? Sorry I missed the monster prom stream yesterday. Um, uh, I wanted to tune in and then I saw the reminder too late. And I was like, oh, well I'm already tired. <laughs> but, I'm alright, I'm doing much better than this morning. I was a little stressed because I've had to-do lists that are about the length of half of a page of my journal each day. So, I basically took like an hour and was like, okay, what did I want to get done this year? What do I still need to get done? And then sat there rearranging to-do lists on my uh, tasks on my calendar. So yeah, woo. <laughs> Better than I was this morning. Um, all right, we're just gonna do a normal lasso tool since this is being a big old pain in the butt face. Oh, oh, we're not gonna. What? What in the world? I love using three monitors. It makes your drawing tablets do dumb, weird stuff. <laughs> you know what? Nope. Nope, we're just gonna use the marquee tool. There, it's fine. There we go, it's fine. Okay. Now we crop that. It's so organized. Uh, it's it's to the bane of my existence sometimes. I I like to be very organized with tasks, and that's so I don't really have to think about oh what am I gonna do the next day, and so I can keep track of all my deadlines. But sometimes I just also like over schedule myself. <laughs> You're being a tired bean in your hotel room? Well, that's gotta be cool. I, I haven't gotten to stay in a hotel room in ages. I always like it, because they're so fancy. <laughs> okay. This is set up right there. That's pretty good. Now let's set up our other refs. <laughs> so instead of hurting my brain with 3D... Um, I wasn't sh I'm not sure if you were here from the beginning of the stream, but basically instead of hurting my brain with 3D and making my computer sad, since I just sort of got all my to-dos reorganized, um, I'm making one very specific asset 
for uh, my thesis, which is a super nice painting. You love your hotel room? They upgraded you for no reason at all? That's, that's always sweet when that happens. Heck yeah. That's, that's super cool. I can't remember, I think, I, I don't think I've ever had like a super crazy fancy hotel room. There might have been one for a, like, big old race, because I used to do, like, quarter midget racing, which is, like, go-karts, but with a roll cage. Um, there might have been one fancy one that had, like, two rooms to it, but yeah. Uh, this is my ref folder, and I don't know why I've been wanting to draw on a white background. It's maddening. I don't normally draw on a white background. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh. Oh, my- oh no. My whole stylus is offset. This doesn't seem to be correct at all. Um, uh, on. Ooh, this sounds like fun. Yeah, I'm really excited for it just because it's a bit of an easier thing to do. But it's still getting work done on what I wanted to. Um, okay. Let's do some monitor calibration. What a stream. Wednesdays are, are indeed just the fight the technology day. <laughs> oh, it would help if I hit apply. <laughs> Oops, that's... We're, we're still offset. Okay. Um, settings... Um... Nope, what happened? Settings... Uh, tablet mouse mode. No, we're still offset. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Yes, we have a sweet old peek behind the scenes. Okay. I don't need my third monitor as much anymore, so... I am going to turn off my third monitor, and hopefully that makes this not freak out as hard. I'm gonna mute my mic for a sec so y'all don't hear me rooting around uh, in all the cables, <laughs> which are right behind the mic. Okay, third monitor, turned off. VTuber, now stuck. <laughs> Let me save some calibration data. Uh, 2A. <laughs> Oopsies. This is, this is in fact the stream where we fight tech. That's just how it goes. But, now we have that. That's good. Okay, we have that back. All right. VTuber looks like they're taking a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy san is very tired. Uh, they're much more prone to sleepy on the job than I am. Or I guess, wait, I guess I'm Daisy san <laughs> I talked about this on the Minecraft stream, but I'm just not quite used to the fact that, oh, well, I guess Daisy san and I are technically the same person. <laughs> It's like my internet persona. It's like, what? <laughs> okay, sweet. We're fixed, we're good, we're functional. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Turn our tolerance down. No tolerance for this BS. Remove that, remove this. Sweet. Okay. Now we can actually start drawing! <laughs> Alright, windows, workspace. I say actually start drawing as I'm still opening a second window so I can look at my refs at the same time. <laughs> Okie dokie. Anyway, what were you up to, Luna? Um, yeah. 
You said you were in a hotel room. Were you doing any fun traveling? Oh, look at these cute beans. I don't care that this painting is far above my skill level. I'm gonna try to do it anyway. <laughs> also need to put my own gosh dang character pages on on here for the reference. I lied! I'm a fool. I'm a complete and utter fool. <laughs> Where did Ace's renders go? I don't know where Ace's renders went. You were supposed to go to Sweden, but COVID? Aww. That sucks. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's just crop this. <laughs> So that I don't need to look at all my other stupid nonsense. Also so that I remember to draw Ace without elf ears. Um. So instead I'm having an in-country holiday and visiting Amsterdam! Okay, cool! Nice. I admit it, I am a bum and I don't know anything fancy that's in Amsterdam. <laughs> what, what sort of cool stuff is there? Let's go to the brush, and now we'll go down here and look at my beautiful handsome boy Ace. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, now we're drawing shit. But for real. This is going to be hella tiny, so hopefully I don't go too overboard on details. <laughs> okay. I haven't drawn Ace in forever, despite the fact that this is my thesis. <laughs> I haven't drawn him, like, all summer. First off, Amsterdam is just a really beautiful city to walk around in. I love looking at the architecture, and there are a lot of museums to visit, like the... Oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of this. The Uh <laughs> Oh no! The Rijsk Museum. I'm trying. I can't. There's also the Anne Frank house, and I'm just gonna walk around, do some shopping, take some photos. Sweet, sweet. Uh the architecture definitely sounds cool. Uh -huh. I always love museum trips. I want to try to go... <laughs> Don't even try pronouncing it. Well, I've already tried at this point. <laughs> I've already tried and embarrassed myself. <laughs> um, I, I want to try to go to the Philly Art Museum this summer. Um, partially because I'll be a... I'll be graduated next summer, which means I'll no longer get student rates for going to the museum. Um... But I also want to bring my partner, because I don't think he's ever been to, like, a big art museum. And I think he would absolutely love looking at all the armor and everything. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, look at this smiley boy. He's so happy. <laughs> You love visiting museums? It sounds like a fun plan. Yeah! Yeah, I'm hoping that, um... I know the Philly Museum doesn't have too stressful of parking, because parking's always a nightmare in the city. And we'd probably drive anyway, since it's only an hour or two away. That's the cutest smile? Aww. Yeah, I love... I love Ace so much. This is, like, the only time he's happy in the, in the animatic or in the thesis at all, because my entire thesis revolves around him trying to go and, uh, kill death so that he can resurrect his wife, who is pictured here. Ah, uh, I love my idiot gunsmith. Not, not the smartest bean. <laughs> I made- I basically gave him a pompadour here. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I can't just give him a pompadour. That's- no. 
What the heck? <laughs> oh, oh my! Ace has a dark story. He does. He does. So, um, I can grab a link to it. Oh my goodness, I keep hitting the button like I'm in Clip Studio. Um, but the animatic for my thesis project, which is basically a trailer for a hypothetical game, um, follows Ace on his fantastic adventure. Uh, he thinks he's off to go defeat the God of Death and, you know, get to resurrect his wife. But let's be honest, Death is just like, all right, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to get through to you. So here's a bunch of elaborate challenges and video game stages that are actually just representative of the stages of grief. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's that's my fun little thesis project. <laughs> Um, yeah. Who's pinged me? Oh, I just realized that it was up on the screen. Oops. Alright, that's over there. I don't know who the heck has pinged me, but I'm gonna fight them. <laughs> Sounds like a really cool project. You'd play a game like that? Yay! Yay. Yeah, I wanted it to be a side-scroller. Um... This is before he's got all the scars and stuff. So let's hop over here so I can actually look at this. But it would be, I think the closest approximation in gameplay would be Dead Cells. But I want it to be a side-scrolling, like, beat-em-up with kind of flashy combat and levels like a Metroidvania. Um, I know, I'm spouting out a bunch of video game mumbo-jumbo. <laughs> My true dorkiness, uh is now showing. <laughs> so so please yell at me if I need to explain anything. Um <laughs> But yeah. It's really interesting because I'm the only one in my class who is uh doing a game pitch idea. And I think I also have the darkest storyline of anybody. Like everybody else has like very cartoony stuff. And whatnot. Google's really fast. You think you get it? All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. I can probably pull up more stuff for it. Screw it. Screw it. I'm pulling up more thesis stuff. Um. I think that's the big old character exploration. Uh, this is the final file. No, that's everything that I polished up last time. I'm a fool. I'm just gonna pull up all the viz dev that I've done for it. So, uh, here's like all my reference stuff for it. Uh, I'd say, yeah, Castlevania and Bloodborne are probably the biggest inspirations for it. Um, but for the final style, I wanted to make it kind of like cell shaded, especially how Guilty Gear looks, but then do these really fancy painted backgrounds like Castlevania. Because, yeah, I love Castlevania. Way too much. <laughs> it's, it's my jam. Here's our here's our character designs. Yeah, so here's our boy Ace in the game. And here is my god of death who is going to be um his skull and his hands are gonna be 3D models, but then his body is gonna be 2D animated. So cool, you like the moody and dark style? Yay! Yay, yeah, I I like dark fantasy, but I don't do like an overly detailed style like a lot of dark fantasy artists do. So it's kind of an interesting thing to try to get that without totally going nuts. Um here's a here's a bunch of Ace's old design, which is still canon as hell in my head. It's just different time periods of his life. He started out as an NPC in a DD campaign. Um yeah. There's just more reference. There's a bunch of fiddling around trying to figure out how I wanted to draw him. Uh, his original concept sketches, he had much spikier anime hair. <laughs> I really liked his spiky anime hair, but I got told to make him less anime. So I was like, okay, fine. And this is where we've ended up. Um, there's just the callout sheet for what I referenced. Here was the original designs for death. <laughs> um, 
I'm not gonna spend too much time on there. You like the spiky anime hair? I know. I know. I actually, I need to make a version of this reference with the elf ears on because I want to put this design up for art fight. But I had to... He's originally an elf, and like to me who plays d and I'm like, yeah, he's an elf, so his struggle to resurrect his wife for literally centuries is super meaningful because of that. But to my professors who, you know, aren't oversaturated with fantasy content, it's like, well, that seems like it's just a complicating factor because then we're question his mortality. And I'm like, fine, it's not worth it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I need to make a version of this with the elf ears. Uh, original sketches. Eventually I want to make that poster. And some references for death. Why, why, are no, why are we not scrolling? There we go! Get on the program! You professors sound boring. Get on the program, professors. I know, I know. It's a case of, I was like, alright, it's already kind of a miracle that I got, like, something that started as a D&D project <laughs> brought in. Um... So, I was like, alright, fine. So, there's a bunch of con concept sketches for death. <laughs> Yee. Yeah. Uh, there was the initial design for him. I'm definitely glad I got moving designing them. You like the concept with horns? I know. I love the horns so much, I just couldn't find one that, like, works. Um, I also, I didn't want Death to be obviously a villain, because while it's not addressed in the animatic, Death isn't necessarily supposed to be evil in my story. He's just someone who maintains the cycle of life, hence why his symbol is an hourglass, because, you know, when your time's up, it just starts over again. Um, so I wanted to get something that was, like, menacing, but also not de not definitely evil. Also, this is, like, the best summary of the plot. <laughs> He was just doing his job! <laughs> and Ace is just like some jerk who's like, get off my lawn. But, yeah. Here's my references for Death. Uh, I need to do animation tests over the summer for him. That's a, that's a good concept for Death. I think Death gets put in the evil role a lot. He's just doing his job. Yeah! Yeah, I freaking love him. It's just... Because anytime I've thought about, like, stupid stories with him, because he's also in my D&D setting, it's like, he's just a disgruntled, like, worker. It's like, god, there's so many necromancers and whatnot just making my life complicated. <laughs> um, and then this jerk shows up and, you know... <laughs> so yeah! Uh, I got told to work on the hand designs, and I just somehow stumbled upon this. So there's those call-out sheets. Oh, here's a bunch of environment stuff. <laughs> Having a hard time while all he wants to do is his job. I know. Sometimes you get people who, like, can't mourn their loved ones. Oh, yeah! I did... <laughs> I... I don't want... Like, when I was designing this, I very much knew what I wanted, but I also didn't want to get yelled at for not trying round shapes, so I put a cat paw in <laughs> as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a very round one on his design here that's super cute. So I was just like, yeah, let's put a cat paw in. I might have to do an actual drawing at some point with cat paws. <laughs> Imagine Death just being a cat. I mean, really though, it would be great. <laughs> Regular tabby cat, yeah. Alright, this is a sketch for a level. Uh, this is a sketch for the final area in the animatic, which is... I'm actually gonna have to 3D model this eventually. <laughs> it's actually pretty inspired by the Void from Dishonored. So, yeah. I put a lot of work into the throne. <laughs> um, also, I was like, God damn it! why did Dead Cells have exactly the kind of throne I wanted to do? <laughs> so, there's that. Um some prop sketches. These were kind of rushed because I was trying to, like, near the end of this, a lot of these are rushed because my hand was dying and I was running out of time with finals. Uh, color keys! Yay! 
And yeah, that's the last of this PowerPoint. Not PowerPoint, but like slideshow. I have a pretty big overview on the thing on my YouTube channel, and I can grab a link to that if you want to like listen to it or watch it at some point. The animatic's also in it. Um, but it's like a 30 minute video because I literally go over all the viz dev and everything that I thought about while I was making it. Yeah, cool. Sweet. <laughs> you look up for my channel? Yay! It should also be linked in my card. Um, which should be in my panels below. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually know what suits look like. Oh shit, what do, Victor <laughs> what do wedding suits look like? Ah! Wedding tuxedos. <laughs> what in the world do they look like? And now Google's gonna think I'm getting married or something. Okay, so there's a bow tie. There's a bow tie. And then there's like... Three dots. I decided to go with the more obvious, like, tuxedo outfit. Um, just because even though I have wedding outfits designed in my setting, um, I didn't feel like trying to explain it. <laughs> it's, like, just such an offhand shot that's only in, like, two bits of the animatic, so I was like, okay, we'll just keep it simple for now. <laughs> No, don't zoom in. <laughs> Your Google thinks you're a strange serial killer with a love for mythical creatures? That's fantastic. Absolutely delightful. <laughs> and... Other complicating fact about this story that's not in the animatic that I cut out for the sake of clarity... Um... Ace technically fell in love with the human form of a dragon, who is actually, like, a part of the planet in the D&D world that <laughs> this is for. So yeah, more pointless lore that I just cut out. So, there's that fun fact of him trying to resurrect his wife, but she's not actually dead, she just went back to her mortal form, or her dragon form, which is just, you know being the literal landmass of his home country. <laughs> it's a wonder the police haven't showed up at my house yet. Wow. <laughs> yeah, goodness, with a, with a search history like that, you would think they'd be a little more on it. So if his wife isn't dead, she's just a dragon again. I mean, in like, real world stuff, yes. Ace doesn't know that. But this dude just keeps pestering death about his dead wife. Yes. You see why I constantly call Ace an idiot? <laughs> because if Death tried to explain this shit to him, he would not understand it at all. Yeah. This is what happens when you're allowed to world build the same D&D &D setting for like six years. <laughs> I should not be permitted to world build the same D&D &D setting for that long. But, here I am. Haha, <laughs> 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 that's amazing. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Uh, I want to eventually get, like, all the lore and everything for my setting written up in one cohesive place, and I have, like, it started, but it's in a Google Doc. So, maybe one day. Or I'll just eventually make a whole bunch of media based off of it, and that'll be how everyone gets to experience the world of the Folly of Kelios, which is my functional name for it now. Hint, that's the name of the dragon at the center of the planet, since the planet's made out of dragons. <laughs> I totally forgot to do the head posing on this. Oh well. Let's go like that. Yeah. Sweet. 
Okay. Cool. That's drawn. It would help if I put those in. And I'm definitely going to open up Flip Studio to make these flowers because guess what? Part of why I put this big old bouquet here is so I don't have to draw the hands. <laughs> Giant bouquet. There's no need to draw hands. Ever. None at all. I should probably get fancy on this outfit and try to come up with something, but... Artist life half. Heck, cover up stuff you don't want to draw. Exactly! And, like, this portrait is gonna be so small in the actual animatic that it's really not worth me trying to stress over how to draw hands for it. So, the fact that I'm already zoomed in working on the sketch is probably not a good thing, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just get the painting done as quick as I can. Mm, let's put we'll put another flower here. <laughs> yeah, perfect. And I should probably make this dress more fancy, but I'm just gonna, like, make it sparkly. <laughs> That'll be... That'll be enough, right? I'll just make it sparkly later. <laughs> yeah! Wait, that's not even going straight down. There we go! I know how fabric and gravity works. <laughs> sparkly equals fancy! Exactly! And I've got, like, fancy pattern brushes in CSB, so I'll just grab some of those and slap them along the borders. <laughs> Yeah, long sleeves are so good. I love flowy clothes so much. It's a shame that they're so freaking hard to animate. Because also part of why Ace's design had to change is because he had a trench coat. And oh god, coats are a nightmare to animate. Because you have to worry about whether or not it's coming through things, and you have to get it to follow physics. It's just literally a mess. <laughs> Do that, do that, that, and... Yep, that's definitely as detailed as that's supposed to be. Okay. Uh, I think I want her hair to be much longer. I think I usually draw it much longer. Oh my goodness, I'm in Clip Studio mode for drawing this. Yeah! Let's get that long hair going. Boo, physics! I know. I know, it's a real shame. Alright, and... Get this erased. Sweet, that's probably rough enough for this. Get this saved. Uh... Oh, I should put this in the thesis folder. I named the file, but I hadn't actually saved it yet. Wow. We are nearly an hour into stream, and I hadn't saved the file. Also, let me head over to paint and start booting that up, because I'm just going to keep working in there. Uh, new folder, 2D assets. 2D assets. There we go. Save that. Put that over there. Why are you there? Ooh, here's this, and then open it up over here. <laughs> All right, sweet. Uh, this is our sketch, so let's turn that down. And who pingeth me? Who pingeth me in drop zone? I'm streaming, you nerds! <laughs> ah, goodness. <laughs> Alright. I know I shouldn't need too much line art, so I'm just gonna get a cleaner sketch in. I'm very bad at, like, figuring out what my workflow is for painting. Um... And, yeah, we'll use the side brush. I like that one. 
And let me change this over back to C. Now that I'm working in Clip Studio, I should just save a preset, but I don't want to load a preset every time. No way. Not, no how. I'm not going to load a preset. That's too much work. <laughs> Window, canvas, new window. I guess I should probably take a closer peek at some of these to figure out how they're done, shouldn't I? Alright, so they're mostly like oil brushes and blending, so I'm gonna want to keep my lines pretty simple. Let's, let's work with a pencil, actually. Color pencil? No. Design pencil. Oh, that's that's pretty nice and organic. Yeah, I'm liking the design pencil. <laughs> and we're gonna make that go that way instead. <laughs> yeah. I love trying to impersonate an art style that's way nicer than my own art that I've also never even tried to do before. <laughs> this is this is just how this is how you improve, folks. Shoot shoot way higher than you should and you'll at least get reasonably close. <laughs> or you'll fail horribly and wonder why why did I do that to myself? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. Let's not move that over. No, let's not move that over. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, that's right. That is 100% right. I was so friggin' nervous pitching this for school. Because I had originally pitched it as, um... Because they encourage you to work in group projects, obviously, so you can do a larger scope, and because in the animation industry, and, you know, usually you'll work in a group in that sort of environment, too. Uh, but no one else on my team, and none, none of my other classmates, wanted to work on this, and this has been a passion project I've thought about working on for years, so I figured, why not? Let's just do it. Shoot for the moon, and you'll vi you'll end up among the stars. Heck yeah, that's the theory. You know, I should I should probably look at Dracula for the more masculine character. <laughs> this isn't going to be exactly in the style, but it's gonna be as close as we're going to be able to get it. Probably not going to finish this today on stream, but it'll, act, it'll also probably end up being pretty soothing to work on. Um, let's do the stubble like this. Why did nobody want to work on this? It's so awesome. Um, I think most of my classmates are not like super into dark fantasy. Um. Also, like, the sheer quality that <laughs> I, I am, I'll admit, I am a perfectionist and I have high standards for my own art. Like, I'm not so bad with the perfectionism that it'll, like, cripple me from finishing something. I do eventually give up and say, okay, that's done enough, it's fine. But the fact that I'm doing a more realistic art style, I'm trying to do like, such detailed painted backgrounds, too. Like, I think just the actual skill level that I'm demanding of myself might have been intimidating to everyone else by accident. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. But, yeah. Also, I think there's just so much that I already know intrinsically about the world that I would be a mad woman and be kind of picky since I've been writing the world for, like, six years. So, I'm not upset <laughs> that people didn't want to work on work on this with me. 
I can completely understand why they wouldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, because not everybody wants to do something like that for a project. <laughs> Let's get this drawn. There we go. Oh, this is this is nice. I should draw with a pencil brush more often. It's pretty sweet. I will worry about painting all of that in later. Oh no, how am I gonna do... Okay, I know I have one hand-drawn ruffle brush. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the other stuff that I want to add patterns to. I'm just gonna have to manually paint that. No! Or at least paint it in a manner that gets the details across. Uh, let's turn... Oh god! I've had stabilizing off this whole time! Who let me do that? What the heck? Turn the stabilizing up. Yeah, I can imagine it would be intimidating to step into someone else's world and try to live up to the high standards, but it's really cool. Yay, thank you! Yeah, the... The only people who have actually collaborated on this, because we're allowed to outsource any of our audio work, my partner is doing the music for this, because he originally threw the idea for Godslayer out, where it was like, bad ending, Ace Beaumont, where he goes nuts and tries to kill a god. Um, he originally pitched the idea to me, and then we've just talked about it as like, oh, if we were to make this game, what would it be? So he's doing the music because he has such an intimate understanding of the character and, like, the idea behind it. And then my friend who does the voices in the animatic actually played in the D&D campaign where Ace was sort of a main NPC. And, oh boy, that... So Ace has uh, a reputation for fiddling with magics he shouldn't. His uh, greatest downfall is his pride, which he can usually back up. Um, among his other shenanigans of trying to resurrect his wife, there was a D&D &D campaign focused on, oops, I let Nerlothotep loose into the uh, main world, and now he's... Be, he's a doppelganger of Ace, <laughs> trying to take things over. So yeah, the player that does the voices in the animatic actually played in that campaign, where they were basically cleaning up after more stupid bullshit that Ace did. <laughs> I swear, he's a good person! He's just, you know, really lonely. <laughs> I want to pull up present day Ace, because I have this toy house page. Um, give me present day Ace Beaumont. <laughs> yeah, there he is! Of course I have a full character page for him. But yeah, present day him. <laughs> kind of, kind of a dummy. Um, what, what else? Well, I'm not going to open those up, but that's from a dark time in Ace's life. Uh, there, there's... There's Ace. Yeah. Also, holy crap, I've become a much better artist since I designed him, like, four years ago. Because <laughs> this was the original concept page for him. His ears just kept getting bigger, and then I had to chop them off for the animatic. Um... Here's a sketch, though, from the first ever animatic that I did for school, which was focused on him trying to resurrect his wife, where I basically retold the fable of the wolf in his shadow with this. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, there's some other artwork of Ace. <laughs> Ace is a himbo. <laughs> You've summed it up correctly. He is a himbo. Ding, ding, ding. You win. Ace is... <laughs> you know what we need? No! I messed it up! <laughs> Curses. I wanted to make my own 
Lovely joke, but I had caps lock on. There we go. You've done it. Ace is a himbo. Congratulations. <laughs> How did I not come to that realization? I can't believe I didn't realize that sooner. What's wrong with me? I realized that, like, the he- that He-Man in the new reboot is, like, he has to be a himbo. But I didn't realize that Ace was. I think I'm, like, physically only capable of designing, like, himbos and twinks when I'm asked to design a dude that's totally self, like, indulgent. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just like drawing dude characters. <laughs> there we go. Now let's get these petals going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Eventually I'll get myself a good drawing tablet that doesn't have the keys stick occasionally and make me just move my entire drawing over. But that's not a priority right now. <laughs> Sometimes you need an outsider's perspective. Also, I love himbos. That's that's completely valid. I love me some himbos too. <laughs> yeah. Oh! How did I draw that hair so nice? Who let me do that? <laughs> what the heck? There we are. Let's get this in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't normally draw such delicate lines. <laughs> this is such a weird change. <laughs> I freaking love Katie Sylvia's art so much. Ah, uh, it's it's basically an honor for me to have an excuse to do studies of her work for classwork. It's insane. <laughs> I could ramble about how much I love it for like eons, but I won't. I just mm, I want to. <laughs> It's just so stunning on, like, an absolute technical level. Uh, we need more eyelashes if we're doing a Katie Sylvia. Okay. Let's do that, then. As much eyelash as I can fit in here. Which is funny, because I don't normally put that much eyelash in. But... We need to go absolutely nuts. <laughs> yeah. Ramble along! It's your stream. You can talk about everything you want. Fair enough. Okay, so, reasons I love Katie Sylvia's artwork. Uh, one, duh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one, it's abs it's really beautiful, like, digital work. Like, it's obviously digital, but it's still has all of these amazing qualities of, like, traditional artwork when you look at it in a museum where it's got, like, actual, like, brushwork and it has, like, similar color palettes to, like, the way the colors interact, it looks like it's an oil painting, which is just insane to me. Also, she manages to blend, like, just this ridiculously cool, like, pretty realistic style, and then it's just like, oh yeah, Here's- here's some anime nonsense. It's so pretty! Ah! Oh, this brushwork, and you can see, like, even this cloth is slightly see-through? It looks like it has real brush strokes? I know! It's absolutely insane! And I just love the shapes for the hair, and the eyes, and also the fabric. Oh, oh god. Oh god, we got stuck. <laughs> We got stuck zooming in. Um, here's another one of her pieces. I actually, this was in the first season of Castlevania, and I was, like, losing my mind about how gorgeous this random background painting they showed was when they went to the Belmont Hold the first time. 
and I was going nuts trying to figure out who did it, and I was so excited when I found out that it was Katie Sylvia. Also, another reason I'm s I get so hype about Katie Sylvia is um, it's really hard to find like female artists that work in the animation industry. So that's cool as hell to see someone basically doing the sort of same genre of work that I like. Uh, who's also a lady. Because I know even though I identify as non-binary, I still use like she and they. So it's not like being a lady is totally disgusting to me, but I'm just like, ah, it's so pretty. Ah! No. This art only. <laughs> okay. That is the end of my technical rant. I could go on about it. Oh my god, I just noticed he's like pulling on her hair. I just noticed that baby Alucard is like pulling on his mom's hair in this. It's so cute. He's got the face of an absolute cherub. Okay. Technical, technical rant over. Let me stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> Other thing that made me really happy is that she designed Saint Germain, uh, who is one of my favorite characters in the show, and I'm like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sweet. There's just so many artists that I really like on the show. Um, Samuel Dietz is the main art director and, like, storyboard-y person. He's kind of, like, the point person for it, and I really like Samuel Dietz's art as well. It's just got such a unique line art style. Alright, we don't, we don't actually need these lines, because I'm going to be doing some painting, so those aren't allowed. You haven't seen Castlevania, but you added it to your watch list on Netflix? Awesome! Feel free to ramble about it anytime to me. It is my favorite animated show. Um, it is it is rated R, so if if gore bothers you, then yeah. One of my friends actually, I was talking to them this morning in the Drop Zone server, but they actually ended up being like, I can't watch season four because there was some like on-screen gore that bothered them. Um, so if it's a little too gory for you, totally understandable. <laughs> Let me get Ace's hands drawn in. Is there anything of Drax's hands in this? Yes! Sweet, this is truly a good reference photo. Holy crap, these hands are so detailed. He's clutching his child's shoulder so awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dracula. What level of gore are we talking about? Um, there's definitely some guts and things. Um, like, like, I'd say in the first season, character does get their, like, eyeball whipped out by Trevor. Um... It's all things where it's, like, momentary, though. They don't tend to focus on the gore for a long time. Not like, you know, some some shows. Cough, cough, Game of Thrones. Um. Yeah. So there's definitely, like, some pretty brutal, like, murders. <laughs> but, otherwise, not too bad. Ooh, eyeball whipping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Trevor in the same scene also whips another dude's, like, finger off. And Trevor's just like, oh yeah, how's your finger? And the, char the character's just like, what effing finger? And it's, it's fantastic dialogue, but if it's a little too violent. Um... I think there's also a touch of body horror in season four. Because they do some weird, like, cool alchemy stuff. Um, but honestly, it didn't bother me, and, like, body horror usually drives me pretty nuts. 
Let's get back to the pencil, please. We're just gonna ignore everything that I drew for <laughs> that hand. There we go. I guess I'll figure out if it's too gory for me. Yeah, I'm... I don't think I'm a good gauge of gore because one of my first animes was Helsing. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. And, like, that doesn't bother me because it's completely unrealistic and, like, is just the standard of the show. But... Yeah. <laughs> there we go, yeah. I don't think it'll be unsettling if it, like, it doesn't have, like, gratuitous, like, murder noises or something, and I think that's something that usually bothers me. So, if it's something where it's like momentary stuff doesn't bother you, then you'll probably be fine to watch it. <laughs> I think in all four seasons, there's only like two sex scenes in the whole thing, and they happen like simultaneously and have really good narrative reasons for being there. So yeah, in the, like all four seasons, it's only two sex scenes. There we go. They're not even explicit either. I just realized that. Wow. Yeah, there we go. This is dress. Uh, this is dress. Sweet. This is pants. Anyway, yeah, uh, Castlevania series, really great. I love it. If you're bothered by gore, I wouldn't worry about it. Like, don't, don't stress yourself about it. But I think the writing and the animation is phenomenal. I will say season four's writing is a little eh, um, but otherwise it's really great. Powerhouse does really good like banter between characters. Saifa and Trevor are absolutely delightful. <laughs> oh, I think my music stopped. Let me go fix that. Uh, let me skip that, because I think that might actually get a copyright. There we go. <laughs> We're back to Zelda music. <laughs> what a perfect song to talk about Castlevania to. <laughs> Here we are. This is... This is part of why I couldn't decide on, like, oh, what should my stream aesthetic be? Because I like Nintendo music. Like, it's just genuinely good, and I do like cute stuff and happy things. But also, my interests <laughs> are just like, hmm, yeah, here's some, here's some edgy vampire hunters. <laughs> Get this in. Mm -hmm. Song has the perfect vibe for the artwork. Aw, yeah, you're right. This is. Aw. Aw. My heart. You just warmed my own heart. How how dare you warm my heart with my art? <laughs> That's cheating. All right, let's let's get some fancy clip studio nonsense in here. Um, this is like hand drawn, so does putting this on the design pencil do me any good? No, not really. Put a new layer there. Delete that sub tool. And oh, there's so many ruffles and things that I could be adding. Holy crap. <laughs> sorry, not sorry for cheating. No, that's totally fine. I will not judge you. 
we're gonna paint over this art, so... Yeah, we're just gonna paste a bunch of these peonies in and call it a day. <laughs> That's way too big, though. I'm gonna have to make that way smaller. I know the line art's different, but we'll fix it in the paint over. <laughs> I also have issues with sticking to an aesthetic, but then but then in my personal dressing style, I love the co colorful 70s dresses, but also gothic style clothes. I know, I know. Like, I look at punk and goth stuff, and I'm like, oh, it's so cool, I want to dress like that. But then I look at the price tags, and I think about, like, sacrificing my comfort for two seconds. Uh for the sake of looking cool, and I'm like, never mind, I'm a bum. We're gonna just be comfy instead. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty dang good. I like that. Control C, Control V, and then edit, transform, flip horizontally. Yeah, this is how you draw a bouquet, boys and girls. Hell yeah. Look at that. Perfect bouquet. No one will ever know. Flawless. <laughs> this is the secret on stream. Is, uh... I say no one will ever know, but yet on art streams, I'm just like, hmm, nah. Oh my god, there was a brush this whole time. I could have been drawing it with a brush. <laughs> I don't know why clothes have to be that expensive. I know. I know. That's... That's the worst part about it, honestly. <laughs> there we go. That seems like a suitable bouquet. <laughs> Alright. But sometimes I look like a supervillain. <laughs> I will know. Yeah. But sometimes I look like a supervillain, and sometimes I look like a mom who bakes cookies all day long. Yeah. Yeah. That's completely valid. I cannot commit to one aesthetic. Mm, good reasons to have a VTuber, because it's so much harder to change how your VTuber looks than your actual clothes. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Uh, let's... Let's not merge that down onto there. Uh, what are other pattern nonsense type things I can do? Ooh! Ooh, I can do this! This will be good on the clothes. Perfect. There we are. Uh, that's just gonna be how that goes. And then... Let's grab the G pen. I. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it might be easier for me to actually erase most of this out. I can imagine it would be hard to change your VTuber up every day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't need that massive uh, panel open, so let's close that. And go like this. I would love to eventually have like a couple presets so I could swap out the outfits. Ooh, fancy pattern. Indeed. Indeed. Like I said, I was like, I'm just gonna make this detailed in Clip Studio. I don't feel like trying to get it around that rose, so we'll figure that out later. Okay. Now it's time to just paint pattern in. Um, it's probably... Wait a minute. What am I doing? Uh, flat. It's probably way easier for me to paint that color in if I just, you know, put, <laughs> put some color down that I can clipping mask to. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, oh, I needed to turn close gap on. 
I needed to turn close gap on. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's go like this. That's... That gap is closed. Gap... Closed. And there. We'll just touch up a couple spots around the edge. And it'll be... Absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah! Alright. Is this still... Gonna be... Why? Why, Clip Studio? <laughs> I'm gonna fight you, Clip Studio. For only to the editing layer. No, that's not what I want either. Enclose and fill. Oh! Well, that's handy. That didn't... That didn't fill anything! I've been lied to! All right. I guess that's, that's just how it goes. Maybe there were some lines connected up there that I didn't notice? What's going on here, Clip Studio? What are you doing? Funky little Clip Studio. Let's not do that for other layers. Yeah! Okay. Sweet. Nope, not what I wanted. Yes, what I wanted. Alright, and... Now that makes my life a hell of a lot easier. For... Doing this! Heck yeah! Now I just gotta fill this in. And then invert the selection. And erase. Uh, invert? Invert selected areas. Ooh, what's going on? Nope, not that one. That one! Ha! Wait. Oh. I only did the bottom. <laughs> I only did the top half. I'm a fool. An absolute fool I am. And dropper. Paint bucket. Fill that layer. Never mind. It's not going to work. Clip Studio, what did I just say? Alright. Now we fill that in. Good luck with your thesis work. I'm headed for bed. Have a nice stream and rest of your day. Yeah, thanks so much for coming to chill out, uh, Luna. Yay! Sleep well. It was a delight having you here and talking about my work. So yeah, thanks so much for listening to my rambles. Bye! <laughs>this work anyway, I can talk about some of my plans for Patreon stuff. So these are, these plans are still in the works, but since I am a little bit behind working on my thesis, I'm probably going to take July and August to work on Godslayer on Patreon. So there's going to be extra content than usual for this on there. 
if people vote, I will know for sure by next Wednesday if uh, my patrons voted that, like, it's cool with them if I do it. So, yeah. Um. Oh, I could just move this layer underneath the flowers. There we go. I do that. And I can just do this. Okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. I think I kind of want to move the pattern. But I gotta unlink it from there. There we go. That pattern is a little bit nicer in placement, I think. Mm -hmm. Now we hop back to here. And we'll paint this in. Sweet. There we go. There's that. That's painted in. Anyway, yeah. Uh, if Patreon vo stuff votes in favor of it, I'm gonna have more Godslayer stuff on there. And if that seems to work well to keep pace with my thesis work, because I've been meaning to kind of condense the work that I do down to be more focused on only a few projects instead of spreading myself so thin. Um, if I can, I want, I might switch my Patreon over instead of doing the monthly art to just being Godslayer focused and then like any patron specific rewards will still be the sketches at each tier. So yeah. <laughs> Getting a sip of my drink. And cool. So I think what we're going to do <clears throat> is lay the flat colors in. Let me get down to Ace. Um I have this. I definitely need to change the color of this flat. I want this to be, I think, a soft blue. Yeah. Edit, fill. No. No, what you doing? I had the opacity lock on. Edit, fill. There we are. Now we turn opacity lock off. And... We'll start getting colors locked in for Ace. Oh goodness, am I gonna have to do most of these manually? I'm gonna have to. Oh, I've got the for all layers. That's why that wasn't working. Oh, let's turn our area scaling up to three. Oh god, I'm so glad I got Clip Studio, because that speeds up coloring this so much. <laughs> there we are. Place that down right there, and that, and that. Sweet. Okay. Um, and close and fill. Let's get our gaps in here. There we are. And color. This eyedropper tool, I need you to get over here. Um, back to the paint bucket. Oh, normal paint bucket. Oh, wait. I'm gonna need to... <laughs> paint some edges in to get this to work. Sweet. I should probably watch, uh, there's an artist that I know does a bunch of Clip Studio paint videos that are about workflow. I should probably sit down and watch a bunch of those just for the sake of speeding this along, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm just gonna kind of meddle about and to do what I need to on stream. Mm, no. Mm, no. Never mind. Is it? Is it up here? Is it a gap up here? 
tell me. Tell me, Clip Studio. Why do you doubt me? Are these lines too light and too messy for you? Why? <laughs> Why do you do this? Alright, I guess we're just gonna go like that. Alright, now we can't possibly mess it up. <laughs> Alright, and now close and fill the time. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, those are there. And then... I like the design pencil a whole bunch, so we're gonna... We're gonna pencil in some more detailed. That right there, yeah! And then... This... Yeah, there we are! <laughs> to other layers. Oh, I was probably using the wrong paint bucket again. Wow. Wow. Good going, Daisy. Just use the wrong paint bucket. That's the vibe for today. Wrong paint bucket, gang. <laughs> I completely forgot to draw the edge of this thing in here. There is nothing on this layer. Leave that. That's my normal pencil work. <laughs> now, back over to the design pencil. Oh, don't zoom in, please. Let's get up here. Let's put Ace's gosh danged shoulder in, because I forgot. This is the one downfall to drawing over a model, is sometimes you just literally forget to draw shit. Because you're like, yeah, it's there. But it's not, in reality. Probably also what I get for drawing while I'm kind of tired. But, there we go. I think I'm gonna follow the same kind of color palette for Ace on his suit. Um, oh, what's going on here? Oh, I think it was just auto-saving. Okay. Okay, good. We're just auto-saving. Sweet. Get that in. Okay. Make that vest the same color. Oh. Oh, this is gonna fill all of it. Yup. <laughs> Called it. It's gonna fill all of it, of course. Edit, redo, there we go, back to here, what do I need? Let's get this right here, and then we need our paint bucket to refer to other layers. Okay, sweet, good, good, good. Now let's get that edge drawn, that colored. Don't do that. I would like, I would like the eyedropper tool. No eyedropper tool for me, apparently. We're stuck on the hand tool. There we are. Oh, I should have known that this suit was not going to be ready for me to color it. Oh, if we turn it up to oh, fill the gap all the way, though, it most certainly works. So that works for me. Get the suit colored. Oh, look at this lad. This lad wants so badly to just have his wife back. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Alright. And let's get an enclose and fill going. Uh, gradient, enclose and fill. Hand tool. I need you to not do that. And close and fill. And close and fill. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 
and I think let's keep the buttons a normal friggin' color for once. <laughs> there we are. Keep the buttons a normal color. That way nobody notices. And let's just let's just screw it. Let's make the pants the same color as his pants in the modern day. Ace has a consistent fashion sense, y'all. He knows how to dress to impress. <laughs> yeah, there he is. He's got he's got them colors. They're placed in. Now let's color in the waifu. His beautiful wife, who's actually secretly a dragon. But they don't need to know that, my professors. Because it's not important to the story, so I just didn't tell them. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Cool. I think I might have confused the heck out of my classmates uh, when I did this initially. Um, uh, let's set this to through. And then we're gonna set these to multiply. Not yet. We're not gonna set those to multiply yet. <laughs> Let me go grab another peony. Or some sort of singular flower. Give me one flower, please. One flower, por favor. Un, un flower for me to place in this drawing. Oh my god, I have so many sparkle brushes. I downloaded literally one pack. Alright. Now we make this smaller. I guess apply the transformation. I didn't see any transformation. Oh. Oh, that's why. That explains it. There we go! Yeah! Merge that down onto that layer. Perfect. Eyedropper tool. There, there, and there, and then we just do a draw. Oh, oh, did I accidentally tap something? Color all of it? I guess, I guess not. Okay, that's fine then. Um, I want her her hair is a like really nice like silvery white. So let's do that. These songs are so happy. Luna was definitely right in that they were very good for uh I should call it this picture. Just a perfect theme. Oop, there we go, filling everything again. Alright, cool. Oh, that explains why that didn't fill that gap. I was like, hmm, why isn't that gap filling? It has a massive, like, 200 pixel gap. Why didn't it work? Of course, that's why it didn't work, Daisy. You fool. Fill these in. I'm also gonna have to mask off that pattern there. That does. That's not supposed to be right there. Remove that pattern, please. There we go. Much better. Eyedropper. Gradient. Place that in. Place that in. Heck yeah. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Alright, there's a, all of the basics of her blocked in. Now I just need to do the bouquet and the flowers, and then I'll be ready to start actually overpainting. Oh boy. Oh boy. I might. Hmm. I might spend some time if I can't, like, find brushes that work from what I have. I'm gonna take some time and look around for some oil painting brushes just so that I can make my life much easier in terms of making this. Oh! Ah. That was a good yawn. Also, let me drink some water. Jesus. Wait, isn't it Wednesday? Does he stream on Tuesday? What? No, yeah, hi, hi, hi Pluto. It is Wednesday. I do not stream on Tuesdays currently. I might be sneaking in some bonus streams when Art Fight starts and just streaming my Art Fight attacks. But nope, Wednesdays is God Slayer Day. Um, if you need a stream that, if you need a stream schedule that is in your time zone, check my panels. <laughs> So yeah, encoding overloaded considering turning down video settings or meh. Well, eventually I'll read that entire error code, <laughs> but seems like it's fine for now. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> anyway, how are, you, how are you today, Pluto? I know we already talked a whole bunch this morning, but how's your afternoon going? What are the vibes? <laughs> do y'all have a bouquet in here at all? No, but I do like that shade of red. That's really dark, though, so let's not do that. Uh, okay. Now we set this to multiply, and we try to work through this. I think we're actually going to make this purple, because then it'll match the rose that he brought her. Yeah! Alright, turn the area scaling down, too. Jesus Christ, Daisy. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love me some Clip Studio assets. <laughs> Making my life much easier. <laughs> See, I don't know. Depending on your time zone, I might stream on Tuesdays for you, but... Well, that's the wrong brush. That's not correct. Uh, also, I need to erase the liner out from underneath of this, because I am a fool like that. <laughs> oh, what's she doing, CSB? Oh, you were saving. That's smart. Mm, I should probably do that. <laughs> Let's get this going. I feel like that should actually be paler. Please, I'm so dumb. Nah, it's all good. It happens. It happens to all of us. Wait, did I just paint that line art out? Oh my god, I'm dumb. I just painted that line art out with the color that I was already doing. Mmm, Daisy's a big smarty pants. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're both dumb. I thought it was Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. No, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I could not stream multiple days in a row currently. That would hurt my brain way too much. Probably also would hurt my throat. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. Hopefully, I've fixed it. You're good, you're good. Also, Daisy, it's 9 p.m. at my place. Not really the afternoon. <laughs> I know, I know. Time zones don't make sense, and that's why I have a schedule that converts the time zones for me. So I don't have to think about it. And close and fill. Let's do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's neat. Huh. We'll get these. 
all done. I wonder if I could, I probably could have gotten that with the enclosing fill. We're gonna find out. Let's take a risk. <gasps> it got way too much. That's not what I wanted at all. Ooh. Ooh, that is fancy, though. That is pretty hella nice. It's got a little bit too much expansion on it, though. I don't like that. That's not chill. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do that manually, because this is poopy and dumb. Uh, we have more line art to deal with. <laughs> Turn the clothes gap down. Yeah! Bless Clip Studio for existing. I would lose my mind if I had to cut- Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm dumb. Edit fill. Why didn't I do that sooner? Why didn't I do that sooner? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's wrong with me? <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's clean the liner up so it doesn't show up in here. You get out of here. Get out of here. Check Discord. Alright, I will check it. <laughs> it's taken a million years to load. Oh, oops, I just, I just put it on the eraser for a split sec. That was not, that's not what I wanted. Get these filled in, and this filled in. Let's get this in. <laughs> Apologies for the not chen. I was just talking to my stream mods. Yes, I know that means you, Pluto. I just <laughs> I don't know who's lurking ever. I just assume that they're I try to assume that it's not just whoever's in my chat. Cause that would one, make me very sad if it was. <laughs> uh, two. Yeah. That that was all my reasons. Um, okie dokie. Oh. oh, okay, we were saving. I keep thinking that Clip Studio is like freaking out and not letting me do things correctly, but alas, it's actually just saving my work, which is good and nice, and it should continue to do that. <laughs> Let me grab this, and then we're going to erase this out. Heck yeah, there we go. You can't stop me. I've put the pattern in a good way. That's that's the good words. That's the good words. <laughs> oh no! 
Hmm. Now I want to see if I can fiddle with this right the hell now. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> I can change that just in the middle of the stream? Whoa. Whoa. I can change the preset to low latency qu I didn't think I could actually change settings in the middle of the stream. Hopefully, that helps. I don't know if that'll help now. We might get a little bit of buffering, but maybe stream will catch up. Maybe it won't. I have no idea. Speaking of things that I fiddled with, I fiddled with my microphone. It's probably only a very nominal improvement <laughs> to it, but... I'm still happy about it. Uh, yeah, let's put the blush in. Uh, wand tool. Where's the wand tool? There's the wand tool. Oh. Mm, we're gonna need to lower the tolerance a bit. Hold on there. Stop selecting things all the way over there. I don't want you to. And then we'll select these. Yeah. Oh, I want to add those to the selection. Yeah. There we are. And let's add these good boys. Not a space bar. I need you to go away. And we'll put this in. Add this to the sweet, tasty selection. Mods. All 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy crap, I see exactly what you mean about stream being hella slow. It might take a little while to catch up since I just changed the preset over. Um, if it's still being a butthole, I might just like disconnect, reconnect. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Pokemon music. It makes me so happy. Also, I'm very proud of the fact that I don't have too many mods. Because that could be really intimidating to have a whole bunch of mods in chat. Everybody's like, whoa, look at all these swords. <laughs> Who dis? I want to edit my uh, chat in my Streamlabs overlay because I think the font's too big, too. I wanted it to be big and accessible and easy to read. But the font is way too effing big in my overlay. So I'm gonna fiddle with that after the stream, probably. Uh, cool. Set this to multiply, set this to through. And let's get a brush, a soft round brush. And let's put this right here. Yeah! Yeah! Put the cute little blush in. The step that I always, always eternally forget for no apparent reason. But it makes such a difference whenever I shade skin. Yes! Yes! Is chat faster? Is it better? Are we zooming? Or is that the yes to restart the stream? <laughs> I don't know. I love stream delay. It makes me sound stupid all the time. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good? Cool, cool. I'm glad that the mic sounds good. I know the last time you were here, uh, I don't know if you tuned into the stream where I figured out what I did wrong, but for the Minecraft stream, I literally forgot to change it over from my computer desktop mic. So I was using my desktop, which is poopy and sad. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't believe I didn't think to check that. I literally just thought it was because I was using, um, voice meter. Oh, goodness. But I'm a fool. It was not at all because I was using voice meter. It was because I didn't, I didn't check. I just forgot to check it. I also need to change my expression calibration. I made it so that the happy thing gets picked up easier. But now I'm just constantly happy during this. It's it's an interesting stream. We're, we're trying stuff and things out. Alright, sweet. Select the liner. Select the liner. No, don't select that liner. Select that. 
tool. Lasso tool. I need you to get in here and make my life much easier. Uh, I need to remove this. I don't know why the hell that's there. Add, don't add that in. Add this in. Uh, there's a few spots near Ace's face. Ace face. Put that in. Move that up. Put those in. And add those in. Oh, there's a little bit here too. There. And I don't think there's any other spots that I missed selecting. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> okay, that was a new ping from somewhere else. Alright, let's get the flat color, or the shading. Alright, and that's the clipping mask for the shading. Hell yeah! Okay. <laughs> no, the stream delay is not better. Curses. Well, at this point we've only got like 10 minutes left. <laughs> So, I am going to just, like, pick a shading color, and probably fill this, and leave it be. Hey, hey Clip Studio, I'm gonna need you to not, uh, set this to through, set this to multiply, Coolio. Coolio. Then give that a thingy. Man, now I'm just like, oh, I should just end the stream early. Because I've got so much friggin' delay. <laughs> Curse my life. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Now, let's go with the side brush to paint my shadows back in. Oh, I don't have like that nice overlay -y thing. Cars this. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Oh, I might actually need to make this heavier. Yeah, let's increase the opacity on that so that it goes faster. Daisy's signature technique of just do messy shadows and clean it all up later. Perfect. <laughs> I honestly do think that messy shadows are the way to go, because you only need to get things vaguely correct for it to be believable in a painting. So... That's why I just do it the messy way. Because it gets, it gets the job done hella quick. Yeah, Pokemon! There are... Why did I just randomly say Pokemon? Oh wait, because there's Pokemon music going. I'm... wow. I have such a train of thought. <laughs> Whatever such that train of thought is, I'll never know. It's a mystery to us all. I definitely lose my train of thought really easily when I'm streaming. I don't know if that happens to anybody else. <laughs> yeah, let's just fill this in. Because it's probably going to be dark. Get this right here. Yeah. This right here. That. And... Yeah! Gosh dang! Why does messy shading go so fast? 
Wait. This is the stream of Daisy asking dumb AF questions. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? Okay, it's literally just saving. Every time Clip Studio goes to save, I panic. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I've crashed it. But as it turns out, it's just saving my work. <laughs> Let's do that, and fill that in, yeah, there we are, like that, and like that, yeah, alright, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's working much better now. Uh, get that in, get that in. Put some shading right there. And right there. That right there. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! We have got an amount of shading on this that seems pretty okay. Uh, I definitely need to put more on right there. Uh, we gotta shade that. And that. Never mind what, what I said. It's an amount of shading that's kinda sorta passable for doing a very quick block in. Okay. Sweet. Uh, let's get a little bit of round happening on here. Just round this out. Cool. Coolio. Okay. So, I think what we're gonna do, since my stream has so much gosh dang delay and it's 357 anyway, uh, is we're gonna save this file and I'm going to end the stream here. Yes, save the file. Anyway, thank you so much to everyone who came to hang out uh, and is dealing with me testing out streaming settings and seeing what works and what doesn't. And yeah. Anyway, I will see you all later. I'll be back on Friday with, I'm thinking, Breath of the Wild. It'll be my wild card stream at 2. And we can talk about E3. And I plan on having some fun redeems in there so y'all can kind of control the game and how I should be playing it. And yeah! Thanks everybody! And bye bye for now!